ABAP Debugger. The debugger is a programming tool that you can use to execute ABAP programs, by line or by section. With this tool you can display data objects and check the flow logic of programs. Two types of debugging are currently possible. Debugging with the classic debugger for release levels up to and including 6.40 or debugging with the new debugger, which is available for all releases after 6.40. The new debugger provides the user with a flexible interface that can be configured as required and has more than 8 desktops. Here it is possible to place and arrange up to 4 tools, depending on the user selection. For example, it is possible to display source text or structures. In this way the user can design the debugger interface according to his own individual requirements. As of Relix 6.40, you can select the debugging type as you wish by choosing the classic debugger or the new debugger in the ABAP editor from the path utilities settings. It is also possible to switch the debugger at any time during a session under the menu and option debugging. So let's log on into the system and let's use the debugger. So once inside the system, let's try the debugger tool. So let's navigate to transaction SE38 and let's type the program name cflight underscore screen. We created this program uh, earlier on the video lesson that talked about the flight screen program. So once we have that program, let's take a look at the source code. So we have this code here and we want to debug this code. So remember that we have the classic debugger and the new debugger. So how can we change that? We go to utility settings and in the debugging uh, tab I can change between the classic and the new debugger. Right now I'm using the new debugger. Another thing you can change in the utilities is the editor. So I'm using the front end editor, the new one. But maybe you are using the front editor, the old. I prefer to use the new one. So if you have this one in old, just change it to new. So we have the debug. In the debug, we can specify the user that we want to activate the debug for. So in this case, I have my own user here because I want to activate the debug tool for my own user. But if I want to debug for another user, for example, for a user that's using the system and he or she doesn't have access to the debug tool, I can place their username here and then activate the debugger tool for their user. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And now I have many ways to activate the debugger. One way is to use the the